Hi everyone, this is Gautami from Marvelsoft. In this video, I would like to explain you about how to use the library module in school admin software. First, we have to log in into the software. Now click on library masters menu. First, we have to start from book category. Click on book category menu. Then click on add button. To add the book categories here. Here you can enter the book category name as scientific. Now click on add then close it and also you can add number of book categories here. Same way you have to add the book publisher. Click on book publisher menu. Now click on add button here. Here you have to enter the name like Nova Science. Here name is mandatory that must be filled. Remaining fields are not mandatory. If you want you can enter otherwise just leave this as a blank. Click on add then close it. And also you can enter the number of book publisher names. Same way, you have to enter the book author. Click on book author menu. Now click on add button here. To add the book author. Here you have to enter the author's name. Like Thompson. Then click on add. Then close it. Next, you have to add the book vendors. In order to add the book vendors, you just need to click the add book vendors. Click on add button here. Here, you have to enter the name like West Books Publications. Here name is mandatory that must be enter. Remaining fields are not mandatory. If you want you can enter otherwise you just leave this as blank. Click on add then close it. And also you have to enter the book locations. Click on book locations menu. Then click on add button here to add the book location. Here you have to enter the book location name like library. And also you can add the book location or rack number details in the details section according to your school requirement. Click on add. Then close it. Next you have to add the books. Click on books menu. Then click on add button here. Here you have to fill the book details like book category, reference number, title, language location whether it is in library or rack numbers like that you can give and author publisher name published year etc and also you can add the book photo here in this place click on add select the picture where you saved select one picture where you saved click on picture open Click on upload button here, then click on add. Photo is added, then close it. Now I will show you one already entered data. You have various options to search book like book ID, book name, reference ID, book category, etc. If you want to search by book category, just click on book category and select the category here like circulation book. Now click on filter option. See these are the books which belongs to book category of circulation book. If you want to check the book details of this particular book just click on edit button and see that particular book details are displaying here. Or else if you want to update anything, suppose I want to enter the 
description here enter something click on update then close it before issuing the book or returning the book you have to update the stock details of that particular book for that you have to click on book stocks menu here suppose i want to search book category click book category select book category as circulation book now click on filter option that particular category books are displayed here you have to enter the book stock here click on edit option here you have to add purchase date book vendor quantity of books and also the price see here already entered data is available here here you can see purchase date vendor and quantity of books and also the price then close it now i am going to explain you how you will issuing the book or returning the book of the particular student you have to go to the library management menu if you want to issue a book for any student select class select section and also select the particular student then click on find now click on add book option here here you should select the book category and also select the book title once you have selected the book category and the book title other details are filled automatically like book author book publisher and also the stock now click on add now the book is added here now click on issue book the book has been issued to the student on this date and the till this date message will be appear now i am going to show how you will returning the book of the particular student if you want to return the book from the student select class select section and also select the particular student click on find click on select books check box here now click on return book selected books have been returned by the student on this date message will be displayed if you want to issue the books to the staffs go to staff reference menu select the staff to whom you want to issue the book select the job type and also select the staff name click on add book option here here you should select the book category and also select the book title here the other details are filled automatically like book author book publisher and also the stock now click on add now the book is added here now click on issue book the book has been issued to the staff on this date and till this date message will be displayed here if you want to know how many books has been issued to the students and staffs you have to go to the return books details menu here you need to select the class and also section click on find see these books are issued to the particular students and also you can see how many books are issued to the staffs click on staff pending books select job type select staff name then click on find see these books are issued to that particular staff now i will going to show how to generate the various book reports go to book reports menu click on book reports here search by book category just select the category name here now click on preview see the details are displaying here if you want to take the print out 
just by clicking the PDF option. And now you can take the printout. Suppose if you want to take all book reports just by clicking all book reports menu. Then click on preview or PDF. Same way you can view the due book reports, book location reports, book language reports, book stock reports, etc. Thanks for watching this video.